right now. Right now, 5:30, the crypto crash, FTX filing for bankruptcy, and the WizKid CEO is stepping down. That come that crumbling company holds the naming rights to the home of the Miami Heat. And that means they owe the county a whole lot of money, not to mention all the investors who can't get their money out. So what's going to happen next? That's a big question. Local 10's Cody Weddle looking into it. He's live with this developing story. Cody, what have you found out? Well, Louie and Chrissy, this was a spectacular collapse for the company that at one time was considered the gold standard for cryptocurrency exchanges. And as you said, the question here in South Florida now is what happens to the FTX arena and the millions of dollars that the company was set to, to pay the county over the next two decades. The equivalent of an old fashioned bank run on the FTX cryptocurrency exchange, crushing any hope of a recovery. The company filing for Chapter 11 bankruptcy today, its clients still unable to withdraw any of their funds online. Company CEO Sam Bankman Fried apologizing on Twitter, adding that it doesn't necessarily signal the end of the company. Welcome to FTX Arena. We've seen Bankman Fried before, seen here courtside for the Miami Heat opener after his company bought the naming rights for the facility, paying $135 million over 19 years. TX was an exchange that had a bright sheen on it. It was led by a CEO that was often on Capitol Hill and being photographed with regulators and lawmakers. Mike Novogratz, who could lose his entire multi-million dollar investment in FTX, speaking to CNBC. This is a tale as old as time to some degree. Some young charismatic guy in Bermuda shorts with the floppy hair uh, charmed the 20 best investors in the world. The question here in South Florida, whether the charismatic entrepreneur also hoodwinked Miami-Dade County and whether they'll be able to pay up going forward. And yesterday, Mayor, Mayor Daniela Levine Cava told us they are monitoring this situation. The Wall Street Journal also reports that the Department of Justice is investigating FTX, and this has sent shockwaves through the cryptocurrency market. At last check, Bitcoin is down roughly 20%. For now, reporting live in downtown Miami, I'm Cody Weddle, Local 10 News.